All right, let's make our dough for our galette. Here I've got three cups of flour and about a teaspoon of salt in the bowl. Uh, just mix together to that, we're gonna add 16 tablespoons of cold butter uh, that's diced up. Uh, that's two sticks of butter. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to use a pastry blender uh, to incorporate this butter into a mealy mixture with the flour. You can use two forks uh, for this. Uh, sometimes if you do it right, you can use a food processor um, or you can use your hands, but the pastry blender here is what works the best. All right, once we have a mealy mixture here with our butter incorporated, we're gonna add about two thirds a cup of water. And we're going to stir this until it comes into a ball that we can work with. All right, our dough was a little loose, so I added a couple more ounces of water. Uh, and you're gonna just finish it by hand rolling it till you get a nice ball of dough at the end. When you're done, you should have a nice good ball of dough that's not sticky. Uh, it all stays together well. We're gonna turn it out onto our cutting board here and cut it in half. All right, we've got our ball of dough cut in half. We've got a sheet pan with uh, some parchment paper and flour. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take and form this into a circle and we're gonna pat this out into about a 12 ounce circle. All right, as you pat it out, you're going to have to keep adding some flour to it uh, so it doesn't... All right, you can also use a rolling pin here. This will help you out, too, if you don't want to pat it all the way. And here, what you're looking for is just a nice, even consistency in your thickness. All right, now we're going to take and let this rest in the fridge for about 30 minutes, and then we'll start building our galette. 